Economists say it's now a workers' market, and companies are scrambling to get them in the door and to keep them there. Employees now are, are asking for a lot, and in a lot of instances, they can get it. Help is wanted. Business owners all over the country are looking for people to hire. The Department of Labor says a record 4.3 million workers left their jobs in August. That's 3% of the entire workforce. Experts say it isn't because they're receiving financial assistance from the government or because they don't need the money. People now are just looking at their lives. They've seen you know, over 700,000 people die and, and they, they're asking themselves, you know, what do they really want out of life? And a lot of people then are deciding that that they don't like their current job and, and, and they want to move to something that's different. In August, there were 10.4 million jobs available. Of those workers who quit, 892,000 workers were in the food service and accommodation industries. The entire process of uh, getting people in here was very difficult. We had to uh, offer really good wages and I mean, we're, we're glad to do that, but you know, it can get hard towards uh, you know, profitability. Makami Bar and Revolving Sushi in San Diego opened its doors nearly three months ago. The general manager says they hired people who had never worked in the restaurant business, trained them, and tried to create a good working environment. Right now, we're probably opening at still like 40, 50 percent capacity. Uh, we lack the staff, but we are hiring, actively hiring, and we're finding really good candidates out there. Professor Jen says that the Delta variant also has some people thinking twice about going back to the service industry. He also says as we continue to struggle with vaccination rates and mandates, the way businesses operate could be changed for the long term.